Hey you guys, welcome back to Simple Gardening. Um, today, I am gonna trim back the Bobo Hydrangea, which is that one right over there. Um, it looks like it has some new flower. It's the white one. And then you can see the spent, spent, spent blooms. <laughs> Sorry, can't get that out of my mouth. Um, but it doesn't look pretty. It's starting to look brown and I don't know, to me it looks a little bit unkept. I know a lot of people love Bobo Hydrangea, but it it's amazing when it blooms in the springtime when it's all white. But as you can see, it just goes from white to that lime green color and then it just goes brown for me. And I feel like over in the front, this is the front of my house, and it just looks unkept. So I think I'm going to trim it back, transplant it somewhere else. And then I have next to it a roses, which I can't remember the name of it. But right behind it, see, there is a limelight hydrangea back here. And it's kind of bushy. That area is not good for it. They get pretty large, and I guess I, when they're small, you don't think how big they're going to get. But see how it's leaning against the house I just kind of move want to move it away from the foundation so I think what I'm going to do is train this bush into a tree form which I already have started right here you see that long stick right there that's going to be my lane, main growth and then I'm going to cut everything around it so that it's basically a tree form and then I'm going to take it and then probably transplant it over here Kind of in the middle of the island, right over here, uh, right by the hardy hibiscus, which is right here. So I guess first what I want to do is probably trim it back. So I'm going to tip it over just a little. So I'm going to trim it so that it's more manageable. It's just been there this whole entire summer, and while I love it in the springtime, I don't love it now. and. You know, whatever you don't love, just move it to a different area or give it to a friend or whatever you want to do. So let me see. I'm going to go in and trim it back a little. Just so it's more manageable, I guess. All these growth so the bobos don't get as big as your typical limelight hydrangea so this is about as big as it's gonna get so it's about three to four feet but it's pretty I mean it's three to four width wise so it's pretty massive it needs a good it needs its own area and unfortunately this area is not big enough for it so I'm gonna cut off all the blooms and technically you can root all of these branches that I'm cutting off but I don't know it's not my favorite so I probably won't root any got to dip right into it. Don't be afraid, they'll grow back. And they may love you even more for it, actually. But I'm doing this in the fall time. You can wait till springtime if you want to.
there. So now it's more manageable size. You can even cut it down even lower than that if you want to. And then you go in and go at it. <laughs> Alrighty. I know the root ball is going to be pretty massive. Yep. Oh. Holy crap. There's the root size for you. see it? That's the root size for you. I'm gonna put it to the side and basically when I bring my other hydrangea over I don't want to put it in the same spot because it's not gonna get enough. It's not gonna have enough growth and so it creeps against that wall. Look at the root size of it. I'm kind of just going to leave this here, but probably plant it like right here. The only thing is I don't want it to impede with this rose, but I might take out this rose. It's not my favorite. I'm thinking maybe right here. Since it's going to be in a tree form, it'll be up here. And then I'll cut whatever's back here so it's not really bush form. The only problem is I think that root ball is going to be pretty big too. I'm going to kind of give it a little hole and then I'll figure out where it needs to go. Got lots of worms down here. Alrighty. Let me give you a close look at that Bobo Hydrangea root system. Look at that monster. No wonder it was so healthy, huh? Got all those roots to feed it. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is that one back there behind the yellow roses. Can you see it? I don't know if there's or is a better angle. So you can actually see it. Is that a better angle? So this is a great way to train your limelight hydrangea if you don't want to purchase it at the store because they are pretty pricey. I'm going to let this be my my trunk I guess. So I'm going to strip the leaves there and then I'm going to cut it here. Remove this. Ooh. in here. Now what you can do is you can do a multi trunk or you can just do one trunk. So if I want to do a multi trunk I would leave this one, this one here and this one. So do a trio. And then it'll be bushier and it creates a bigger, more fuller I guess standard. But it really depends on you, how you want it. I think I'm just gonna have one. It's because these ones are leaning. And I don't know if I want them to lean. This 
is the hardest part about gardening, cutting off things when you spend so much time growing them. But it's gonna grow back and you can always use this to grow more. What do you guys think? <laughs> I'm having a tough time deciding whether I should leave it as a, tree, as a trio so a three trunk tree or a single. Now a single would be more structured, I think. And that's really what I'm going for. So maybe just one. Ready? There we go. And that would be your standard limelight. Okay, so I'm gonna move it back here so you guys can see where I'm gonna plant it. I'm gonna plant it, remember where that bobo is. So I just gotta go dig it up and then move it over. system is going to be pretty big. one is definitely longer. The hole, I don't believe, is deep enough. I think what I'm going to do, because the roots are so wide and spread apart, what I might do is go in and trim around it. You can see there's no way I can fit all that root into that little hole, so I'm going to go around and trim those roots. Basically, when you trim it, I just do it to where it's more manageable. You want to keep some of them because those are feeder roots right there. You want to keep some of the feeder roots because that's how the plants survive. But since I cut most of the plants off, it doesn't require too much. Okay, let me dig a hole a little bit bigger so I can fit that in there. I don't want it to be too deep, I guess. It just needs to be wider, not deeper. Totally forgot my biotone. Uh, 
have biotin in this red cup. I'm just gonna sprinkle it around. Mix it around a little. Gonna lay the root system in there. Like that. mulch kind of back around it, tap it down, Voila! What do you guys think? At this point, it's about four feet, and then any growth will push from here. It might be a smidgen tall, so I might cut it back to here, and then let it grow here. But for now, I'm gonna leave all those leaves on there. That way it can feed itself, do its photosynthesis stuff. And then that way I can plant stuff around it. See at the bottom of the base, look at how open that is. It's kind of ugly right now, but once everything filled up and then I'll put more flowers at, around it, I think it'll be pretty, just like right here, I put a whole bunch of cone flowers but I might have too much coneflower, which I don't think you can have too much, but I feel like this might be too much. I've got some coneflower here, so I'm not sure what to put down there. And over here, same thing. I have another limelight hydrangea over here, which I think I'm gonna train it into a standard. If I don't want a standard, I definitely need to remove them um, from around the edge of the house. I think I put it too close, as you can see. It's You don't want things touching the house. So over here, the same thing. This one's getting too unruly. But it definitely looks bare over here now. With taking out all of this over here. Now I just got to find more plants to plant, huh? <laughs> yeah, so I think that's it, you guys. That's the project I'm going to be working on. I am going to work on these two over here, but I mean, basically I'm going to be doing the same thing that I just videotaped, so I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to watch it again. But I'm going to train those guys into standard form and then move them out a little bit. And then that way I'll have room to plant on the other side of the house with other stuff I'm not sure what but it'll give me more room to plant more things more flower makes me happy I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in the next one take care bye